I was born between two religions. My father is Catholic, while my mother is Muslim. But ever since I could remember, my faith and heart was always leaning towards Islam. My father didn't like the fact his own child was a Muslim. He wanted me to be Catholic, like him. So when he could already see at an early age which direction I was going, he sent me to a Catholic school in the second grade. You know what? It was pretty great. I learned about a different religion and made amazing friends that year. I had a great time, but I just never told anyone I was Muslim because I wanted to fit in. I never realized how big of a deal it was because I thought the world was a great place with nothing to worry about until the third grade. When I was in third grade, something bad happened. I remember sitting in class and my teacher turned on the television. This was all over the news. Everyone, including me, was devastated. And then I heard it. Muslims, said my teacher. I was so shocked that that came out of her mouth. And then I heard some of my classmates saying more terrible things. It suddenly dawned on me that I was surrounded by people who didn't like what I believed in. As I listened to more things being said about me from my classmates and in the media, I couldn't help but feel the world turning against me. I was scared to stand up for myself. I wanted to so badly, but the words didn't come out. I stood there in silence. The next month, my parents got divorced. My father wanted my mother to convert to Christianity, and when my mother declined, he left. Don't get me wrong, my father was a great dad, but when it comes down to religion, which he is most proud of, then he gets serious. It really hurt my mother though. I remember I would hear her crying in the middle of the night. I felt so sad for her, and I would pray to Allah for her. Allah, send my mother a man that will love her for her. For years, I never told anyone I was Muslim, and I never wore hijab because I was terrified. Until one day, when I was in seventh grade, we were sitting around waiting for the teacher to come in, and somehow, the conversation was steered towards Muslims. I had a bad feeling in my stomach, thinking that this is going to make me feel really bad. I just knew it. But then, a classmate started talking about how every Muslim reminded him of bad people. Couldn't help it. I got so mad because I couldn't tolerate this towards my religion anymore. So I walked up to him and screamed right in his face. Not all are bad. I'm not bad, right? It was completely quiet in the classroom. The class looked at me as if I was crazy. From that day to the day I graduated from middle school, I was looked down on as a disgrace. Students and teachers all damned me to hell. Some teachers even forced me to read the Bible. I felt so alone in this world. One day, I finally talked to my mother about it. She wasn't shocked at all. Oh, honey, there's going to be people who want to judge people. The only way to beat it is to not listen. It's what you think that matters. My mother is one proud Muslim woman. She then told me that there are times where adults call her that too. It surprised me that adults acted like this too. I used to think that adults and adolescents had a different attitude towards things. I was kind of disappointed to be honest, but my mother taught me how to ignore these comments and continue to be me. I'm 15 now, and I am proudly wearing a hijab. I have many different friends with many different beliefs. My mother has a boyfriend now. He really loves my mother for her. I'm not saying there's any right and wrong in what you believe in. All I'm saying is that everyone is different and they're entitled to their own religion and beliefs. Believe it or not, there are ways for people to get along despite believing in different things. You just need to have an open mind and be willing to see that there is so much more to a person than the thing that makes them different to you. No one should have to sacrifice one's self-belief just to be accepted. I am a Muslim and I care for everyone and would never ever think of hurting anyone. I am not saying that I believe that everyone is pure and good. There are terrible people out there, but not everyone is terrible. I really hope my story will help you see that and help you to always remember that there will always be a light in darkness.